hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel if today is your first time of stopping by you are highly welcome please take some seconds and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so do that please so you can join the family okay so guys in today's video this is the hairstyle we are going to be making in today's video guys this hairstyle is super easy in fact let's dive into the video let's not talk much to make this hairstyle guys all you need is two wools depending on on the volume of the person you will be making the hair on my daughter her hair is not that so much so these two will be enough okay i grabbed the wool now i'm i'm about to you know i'm about to cut the wool and to do that i will pass it under my leg then I will keep on stretching the wool like as you can see me doing in this video right now um to do this you have to know the length you want okay before doing this like the length i want i wanted i wanted it to be a little bit long so like this one i made now i will cut it just once okay guys so after rolling out the wool i will go ahead grab my scissors then I will divide, I will cut the wool just once. I will cut it once like this. Then I will proceed to the hair making. Yes. So guys, that's it. That's just it, okay? So to begin with the hair making, I did some off camera, but now I'll be showing you guys how to make this hairstyle. First, you have to section the portion of hair you will be working with. Try to make your pattern neat, okay? It also adds beauty to the hair, okay? So after sectioning the part I'll be working with, I'll go ahead and grab five strands of wool. Five strands of wool, that's what I'll be using. You can choose to add more, you can choose, you can, you can choose to add less because it will be a little, it will be too tiny, so you can add more. So I went ahead, I used one of the wool and crossed it around the remaining four. So now I will go ahead and grab the hair. So I'll place the wool on top of the hair. Then I will use the small one, the one that is um, two strands. I will use it and the wrap around the hair. Not so tight, okay? I will use it and wrap it around the hair. I'll wrap it until I'm sure that the root of the hair has been secured. After, after um, wrapping it around the hair I will knot it once then once that is done I will go ahead and uh, use my shine and jam apply it on her natural hair then I will use the I will comb it then I will use the wool and try to cover the natural hair as much as I can then after that I will twist it I will twist it in a way that I will try to use the wool to, co to cover the hair as much as I can. So after twisting it, after twisting the hair and the wool, the next thing to do is to use um, the remaining wool and pass it across the the hair that you twisted not so tight you will pass it across the across it so loose okay just like this then once that is done you hold that one and and push the rest of the hair backward you push it this way so that it will form that spiral um corkscrew then after that you you finish the rest of the wool you twist the rest of the wool and while twisting it you the twisting shouldn't be tight it has to be a loose twist if it's tight you won't be able to make the cock screw you won't be able to as you as if if the 
twisting is tight you won't be able to drag it um, backward like I did now you see I was able to achieve this because this twisting wasn't tight so you have to make sure that as you twist it is not so tight okay As you twist, you hold the two strands, you hold the two strands and drag it backward. As you do this, you drag it backward so it will form that spiral um, corkscrew. Like this. So once you're done, you have to secure the end. You knot the end so that it will not loosen up so i'll leave you guys to see the next one i'll be making i'll leave you guys to watch and see as i do this again okay
so guys we are done making the hair the next thing to do is i'll go ahead and add these hair accessories So after adding the hair accessories, I will use the scissors to cut off the excess wool. Then once that is done, the next thing to do is I will go ahead and pack the hair. See, where the trick is, is in packing the hair. In fact, packing the hair, you just have to do it as you go. There's no special trick to do that. but. I, I try first to to select the the ones in the front that can you know that can that have the same length with each other the ones in the in the front first I will take the ones that have the same length with each other then I will tie them with wool so as I move I'll be checking the ones that the length can reach um, the ones I've already tied that's just it there's no much you know uh, this is where you have to do your own work because as you're going the hair the 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 hair they are they are not the same in length so some will be able to reach some will not be able to reach like this one now this one will reach but the one in front will not be able to reach but there's a way we can make that one to reach okay so the ones I, I was able to grab, I will go ahead and tie them with the wool. So for this one that was not able to reach, I'll go ahead and add extra wool to it just as to lengthen the as just as to lengthen it, okay? I'll go ahead and add extra wool to it. And once that is done, look now, I'm able to join it to the, the to the ones I've joined before. So that's how you do it. Anyone that you feel like um the length is not enough you can just go ahead and add extra wood to it so that it will be able to reach to the place you want it to get to so after that these three in front i will join them first i will join them together because they were not able to reach to the main one i was joining so i will join them now then i will extend them i will extend them to the main one I don't know if I'm making sense. <laughs> so these three in front, I will join them. Then I will join them to this main one here. You see, now I'm able to join them. Then I will look for another ones around it and also join them. And I will, I will, I will secure it with the wool. Ah, guys, I hope you guys <laughs> understand what I'm saying because I don't really know how to explain this. But but just know that. You just have to do this on your own anyone that you see that the length is not enough just go ahead and add extra wool okay as you move you join anyone that you feel like the length is enough to be joined okay so that's basically how you do it and as you're joining it don't drag it so tight okay so that there will not be there will not be much tension on the root of the hair okay So after joining everything, the next thing to do is I'll go ahead now and look for a place to, to attach this one. And I found out that this place is the best place for me to attach it. So I'll go ahead and wrap the, the wool around it. 
I will wrap it around it like three times, then I will knot the wool. After knotting the wool, now I will go ahead and uh, using the scissors, I will go ahead and cut off the excess wool. So once that is done, I will use my lighter to light the wool that I just cut off. This is as to secure it so that it will not loosen up. So after that guys, the hair is ready. We are done. Look at now. Look at this beautiful hairstyle. Come on guys. <laughs> please don't fail to give us a thumbs up, comment and share this video. Please. We are begging you. Comment and share. We love you. Bye.